Welcome to the spoken tutorial on hosting Git repositories. In this tutorial, we will learn about Git repository hosting services, creating a GitHub account, creating a repository in GitHub, and creating a tag in the repository. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 and Firefox web browser. You can use any browser of your choice. For this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection. You should also have basic knowledge of Git commands. If not, for relevant Git tutorials, please visit the link shown. First, let us learn about Git repository hosting services. There are many web-based hosting services available such as Bitbucket, CloudForge, and GitHub. Here you can import your Git repositories free of cost. They provide a centralized location to share your repository so that many people can collaborate on a project easily. They allow you to download and study others' projects free of cost. Next, we will see why to use GitHub. GitHub has become the most popular website for housing open source software. In GitHub, you can view, discuss and review changes with your team effectively. The procedure used in GitHub will be similar to other free Git hosting websites. You can explore them yourself later. Next, we will learn how to create an account in GitHub. Open your web browser and go to www.github.com. Here in the home page, you have to give your details for registration. I will type priya-spoken as username and priya-spoken at gmail.com as email id. Please type your preferred username and valid email id. Then I will type my password. You can give any password as per your choice. Now click on sign up for GitHub button at the bottom right. Next in step 2, we have to choose our plan. I will choose free plan as I want to use the free service. Now click on finish sign up button. Next we will create a repository in GitHub. You can see a button new repository in the right side box. Click on it. It shows a message. Please verify your email address. GitHub will send a verification mail to our registered email ID. So we have to open our email account and click on the email which is sent by GitHub. I have already signed in to my email ID which is registered with GitHub. Let me open it. I have an email from GitHub. Let me click on it. The subject line says, please verify your email address. If the mail is not found in your inbox, please check your spam or junk folders. Now click on verify email address button. We are redirected to the GitHub homepage. This indicates that we have successfully created our account in GitHub. We will try to create a repository in GitHub. Now click on new repository button in the right side box. You can see that now we are able to create repository. Let us type stories as repository name. If you want to give any description about the repository, we can do so here. Next, I will choose public option which is free of cost. If you choose private option, we have to pay some fees to keep our repository private. This means that other users cannot find and download our repository. Let me click on public again. Click on this checkbox initialize this repository with the readme. This will create a readme file. In this file you can write information about the usage of code or installation instructions. It will be useful for all the collaborators. However, if we are importing an existing repository, this box should be unchecked. Now click on create repository button. You can see the repository name along with your username has been created successfully. 
Once the repository is created, you can see the README file label at the left bottom. We will write some information in this file later. By default, we can see a commit that is initial commit, one branch that is master branch and one contributor. You can click on each link and explore them at your convenience. Now, let us start working in this repository. We will begin by adding a file to our repository. Click on New File button in the middle panel. A new form opens up for creating a file. Here, I will give the file name as kids-story.html. I will copy and paste some code into this file from my writer document which I had saved earlier. Likewise, you can add some content into your file. Let's commit this new file now. Scroll down the page to give the commit message. Here in the commit message field, you can see the default message create kidstory.html. You can keep the default message or type a new message. I will keep the default message. Here in the next field, you can also give an extended description of the commit. So here I will type added first file of the repository. By default, we commit to the master branch. Now click on Commit New File button. Our new file kidstory.html is added to the repository. Notice that now the commit number is increased to 2. Let's click on it. Here you can see three dots next to the commit message. Let me click on it. It shows the description of the commit. To know what we have done in the commit, Click on that particular commit message. Now you can see the details of the commit. Let's go back to the commit list. For this, click on the left arrow button at the top left corner of the browser. On the right side, you can see the hash value of the commit. Click on code tab at the top left corner to come back to the repository. Next, let me demonstrate how to create a new branch in GitHub. In the left side, you can see a drop-down list labeled branch. Click on it to create a new branch. You can see a pop-up window opens up. In the pop-up window, you can see find or create a branch field. I will type new hyphen chapter as the new branch name and press enter. You can see that the new chapter branch is created and it is our current branch. Next, we will make a commit in the new chapter branch to understand the branching process better. Let's make some changes in kids story.html file for demonstration purpose. In the repository, click on kids story.html file to open it. At the top right corner of the editor panel, you can see an edit icon. Click on it to edit this file. I will add some lines here which I have copied from my writer document. You can do so likewise. Now we will commit this change. I will keep the default commit message as it is. Here you can see the branch name, new chapter where this commit was made. To commit, click on commit changes button. Let's click on code tab to go back to our repository. Next. Let's check the commits of master and new chapter branches. Click on commits link. Here in the branch drop down, we can select the branch name that we want to see. I will select master branch in the list. Once it is selected, the commits of the master branch will be listed. To see the commits of new chapter branch, we will select new chapter in the branch drop down. Now you can see the commits of new chapter branch. Let's click on code tab to go back to our repository. Next, let us see how to create a tag in GitHub. We already know that tagging is used to mark a commit stage as important. For example, say I want to create a tag in the master branch after adding kidstory.html file. To create a tag, first click on releases link. Click on Create a new release button. A new form opens up. In the tag version box, type 
v1.0. In the release title box, type version 1. In the right box, we can give the description of our tag. I will type, this is the version 1. Now, click on Publish Release button. Here on the left side, you can see the hash value of the latest commit. We already know that, by default, the tag will be created in the latest commit. With this, we come to end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about Importance of online Git hosting services Creating a GitHub account Creating a repository in GitHub and creating a tag in the repository. As an assignment, create a repository in GitHub, add few files to the repository, edit the files and do some commits, and try to create branches and tags in the repository. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.